Swara, a solutions architect here at the AWS office in Seattle. Today, I'll be showing you how to resolve an access denied error received while modifying a bucket policy from the Amazon Simple Storage Service Console. Let's get started. To view a bucket policy from the Amazon S3 console, your AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, user or role must have S3 get bucket policy permissions. To edit an existing bucket policy, your IAM identity must have a permission to perform the S3 put bucket policy action. Keeping that in mind, there are five things that you should check if you receive an access denied error while adding or modifying a bucket policy. First, confirm the IAM identity, user, or role has permissions for both S3 get bucket policy and S3 put bucket policy. Second, make sure the bucket policy doesn't deny your IAM identity in use. Actions, S3 get bucket policy or S3 put bucket policy. Third, check that the change being made to the bucket policy doesn't grant public access when the Amazon S3 block public access is enabled. Fourth, if your account is a part of an organization, confirm the AWS organization's service control policy allows Amazon S3 access. Lastly, if a bucket policy denies everyone access to S3 get bucket policy, S3 put bucket policy, or to all Amazon S3 actions, S3 wildcard, then delete the bucket policy. Note, if you can't delete a bucket policy, try deleting the policy using the AWS account root user. Now, let's go through the configurations one by one. First, make sure your IAM identity has necessary permissions. Open the IAM console using a user or a role that has permissions to view IAM permissions and S3 bucket policies to troubleshoot problematic user. Select the identity that is not able to access the bucket policy. Go to the permissions tab of your IAM user or role. Expand each policy to view its JSON policy document. For example, this IAM policy allows the user or role to perform the S3 get bucket policy and S3 put bucket policy actions on the bucket Swara console. Note that the access S3 console statement here grants Amazon S3 console access and isn't specific to modifying a bucket policy. In the JSON policy documents, be sure to also search for statements with the effect deny. Then confirm that those statements don't deny your IAM user or role access to the S3 get bucket policy or S3 put bucket policy actions on the bucket, as a deny always takes precedence over a allow effect. If you can't find policies that grant S3 get bucket policy or S3 put bucket policy permissions, then add a policy granting your IAM identity those permissions as shown in this example. If you find any policies that deny access for S3 get bucket policy or S3 put bucket policy on the bucket, remove those statements or policies. If you still can't view or modify the bucket policy, make sure the bucket policy doesn't deny your IAM identity permission to S3 get bucket policy or S3 put bucket policy. For this, open the Amazon S3 console. From the list of buckets, open the bucket with the bucket policy that you want to modify or view. Choose the permissions tab. Scroll down to the bucket policy section. Search for the statements with the effect deny. Modify the bucket policy to update any effect deny statements that incorrectly deny the IAM identity access to S3 get bucket policy or S3 put bucket policy. Note, if the bucket policy or IAM policy has only been given access to perform actions S3 get bucket policy and S3 put bucket policy using a specific IP range or VPC endpoint as source, make sure you are making a request using an allowed IP address or an allowed VPC endpoint. If you're using a VPC endpoint, also check VPC endpoint policy to confirm that it is not denying S3 get bucket policy and S3 put bucket policy actions. After making sure the permissions are correct, both on the IAM and S3 bucket policy, if you still can't access the bucket policy, check your changes to the bucket policy doesn't grant public access when Amazon S3 block public access is enabled. 
Review the bucket policy change to see if the changes grant public access to the bucket. Then check to see if the Amazon S3 block public access is enabled on the bucket or the account. If the S3 block public access is enabled, you will get an access denied error when you try to save a bucket policy that grants public access. So far, we saw IAM and bucket level configuration. There can be organization level controls on the permissions as well. If your account is a part of an organization, check that the AWS organization's service control policy allows Amazon S3 access. Check the service control policies for any statements that explicitly deny Amazon S3 access. In particular, check the service control policies for statements denying the S3 put bucket policy action. For example, the following policy explicitly denies access to all Amazon S3 actions and results in an access denied error. If the service control policy denies everyone access to S3 get bucket policy, S3 put bucket policy, or all Amazon S3 actions, S3 wildcard, then delete the service control policy. If no IAM identities can view or modify the bucket policy, the AWS account root user always has permission to delete existing bucket policies in global regions. After the existing policy is deleted by the root user, your IAM user or role can create a new bucket policy. For the cross-account access denied issues, make sure explicit allow permissions are granted on both the ends, IAM policy and S3 bucket policy. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.